Toyota and Subaru finally saved combustion engines, Fovever. As was made clear to us during the COP26 meeting of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, not every nation or company is prepared to commit to an electric vehicle EV future even by the end of the next decade. Do you support the idea of EVs? Let us know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Let's get going and learn about what Toyota and Subaru are up to these days. Even though Toyota's reluctance has received much media attention, the Japanese automaker is not the only one concerned about the prospects of the internal combustion engine, I say. Toyota has collaborated with four other Japanese automakers, Mazda, Subaru, Kawasaki and Yamaha, to reach carbon neutrality through increased fuel diversity in internal combustion engines to form a consortium. This indicates that they want to find more long-term solutions to Earth's problems than simply relying solely on electricity. As the first of three projects they want to take on, the group of five companies will initially investigate the possibility of using so-called carbon-neutral fuels in auto racing. This will be the first of their projects, while Toyota and Subaru plan to test two new cars driven by carbon-neutral synthetic fuel generated from biomass as early as next year. Mazda will focus on a SK1 AC Thai VD engine that works on next-generation biodiesel fuel instead. In addition, Toyota and Yamaha plan to continue competing with hydrogen-powered race cars, essentially modified versions of the Corolla. They will work together with other companies and local governments to boost hydrogen production, transportation, and utilization. According to a report that Forbes published at the beginning of September, the company responsible for manufacturing the fuel cell car known as the Mirai plans to release at least two additional hydrogen-powered vehicles before the end of 2022. These vehicles may be variants of the Corolla and the Prius. However, in contrast to the Mirai, there would be no use of fuel cells, which means that hydrogen would not be able to be converted into power. In the same way that the hydrogen is used to directly power the combustion engine in the race specification Corolla, the same would be true here. Finally, Yamaha and Kawasaki have agreed to collaborate on the research, design and production of hydrogen-powered engines in their respective motorcycles and other types of vehicles. Synthetic fuels are beginning to garner the attention of companies that manufacture automobiles. This group includes Porsche, which contends that internal combustion engine IC, vehicles powered by its F fuel may be able to achieve the same level of environmental friendliness as contemporary electric vehicles EVs. But you think ICE vehicles will be environmentally friendly? In a previous interview with Evo magazine, Porsche Vice President of Motorsport and GT Cars Frank Wolleiser stated, from a well-to-wheel perspective, and you have to consider the well-to-wheel effect of all vehicles, this will be the same amount of CO2 created in the construction and usage of an electric vehicle. Naturally, racing is just a small part of the sport as a whole. We need to count every one of the millions of cars and trucks spread out across the entire planet. Do you believe that it is possible to achieve carbon neutrality through the combination of different technologies? Or will the future be dominated by electric vehicles? Toyota and Subaru are working together to develop a new electric SUV. Yesterday, Toyota and Subaru made an important announcement. The two companies will collaborate to develop a brand new platform that is specifically designed for electric vehicles. This platform will make use of Toyota's vehicle electrification technology as well as Subaru's all-wheel drive capabilities. The architecture of the platform was designed with the intention of making it applicable to a diverse set of automobiles, ranging in size from compact cars to, to mid-size SUVs. To begin, Toyota and Subaru have indicated that they intend to design, create and manufacture a new small electric SUV that will be sold under each brand name. Many people will feel that this has been waiting too long. There is currently no information available regarding a potential release date. Since the press release only mentions large capacity batteries, we have no idea how far the vehicle can travel on a single charge. This signifies the continuation of a business partnership that was established between the two Japanese manufacturers back in the year 2005. Significantly, they released the Cyan FRS slash Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ sports coupes that they co-developed in 2012. They recently began selling the new Subaru Crosstrek Hybrid, plug-in hybrid, in the United States. This vehicle uses an engine manufactured by Toyota. Despite initial projections that it would go on sale in Canada in 2019, 
It is anticipated that sales of the 2020 model year will begin this fall. At this time, Subaru does not offer any hybrid or electric vehicles for sale in the Canadian market. It has been speculated that the next generation of the Subaru WRX will include hybrid powertrains, but Subaru has remained silent on the matter. In the meantime, Toyota offers as many as 14 hybrid vehicles, split between its Toyota and Lexus brands, although the Prius may be the last of its kind. Both Toyota and Subaru, along with the majority of other major automakers, are aware of the urgent need to transition to the production of zero-emission, battery-electric vehicles. As a result, they have come to the conclusion that it is necessary to pursue a business model that goes beyond convention, crossing over industrial boundaries together with a variety of other types of entities that share their aspirations. The new production BZ4X from Toyota can cover a lot of ground for its debut. On Friday, Toyota unveiled its next microelectric SUV, which will be called the BZ4X. It is based on the same concept that made its debut in April under the same name and is approximately the same size as the widely sold RAV4. This vehicle marks the beginning of Toyota's new BZ Beyond Zero sub-brand, which will eventually consist of various vehicles that produce no emissions. It was developed in collaboration with Subaru, which will use the same platform for its own electric vehicle, which will be called the Solterra. The BZ4X is available with either front-wheel drive FWD, or all-wheel drive AWD, the former of which has an estimated range of 500 km according to the WLTP, while the latter has an estimated range of 460 km. Even though these estimations are likely to be more accurate in North America, the distance between us would still be somewhere in the range of 425 and 450 kilometers in the best case scenario. The battery in the BZ4X has a capacity of 71.4 kilowatt hours, and according to Toyota's estimates, after 10 years or 240,000 kilometers, it will still have retained 90% of its capacity. When connected to a 150 kilowatts DC fast charger, it can get charged up to 80% of its capacity in just 30 minutes. The power output of the single motor FWD EB's 4X is 150 kilowatts, 201 EP, and it can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 8.4 seconds. The alternative configuration makes use of two motors, each of which has 80 kilowatts, 107.5 EP for a combined power of 160 kilowatts, 215 api, and an acceleration time of 7.7 .7 seconds when going from 0 to 100 km per hour. In addition, Toyota has disclosed that some of its future models will feature a technology known as steer by wire, which will do away with the requirement of a mechanical link between the steering wheel and the tires, because it prevents the driver from having to switch grips while steering. Having a lock-to-lock -lock range of approximately 150 degrees is a significant advantage. Additionally, as can be seen in the image, the new Model S from Tesla will be offered in some areas with the option of a steering wheel in the form of a yoke. The newest generation of infotainment systems includes voice control for several car functions, such as the windshield wipers, navigation that is based in the cloud, and automatic wireless software updates. Both the front and the back legroom have been loaded as being the most accommodating in their respective categories. The middle of November is when Toyota promised to provide further information, including features that are exclusive to the Canadian market. The BZ4X is expected to debut at the 2021 Los Angeles Auto Show. Well, it will be really interesting to see what these giant companies are going to do in the future and what revolutionary changes are they going to bring to the EV market. There is a lot going on and a lot of planning involved in this process of developing the EV market. So keep a close look on what these companies plan and share your opinion with us. Do you also feel that EV market is going to soon take over the automobile industry? Let us know what you think. We are going to take your leave on that note and leave you with these thoughts. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you made it this far, we appreciate it. Feel free to like, follow and comment on the postings if you find the information presented here to be useful. Moreover, you should subscribe if you want to be notified whenever we upload new content to our channel. Doing so will ensure that you don't miss out on our posts. All of this data is provided to you with the honest hope that it will be of some value to you. See you very soon.